Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to a game called Head and Blood Right. Crystal Heart, Blood Right. These are Greenhorn, Head On, Head Mystic, Hardcore, Brutalizing, Bear, Uh, I'll go with the one in the middle. Enemies have full strength. Okay. I'm, re I'm relatively skilled. I picked this game up in a uh, charity sale a minute ago from Humble, I think. If you can't see the plant in the background at all, increase the gamma so it's visible. How does that look for you guys? That's probably fine. Um, for those new to the somewhere in hell, for those new to the channel, I'm a huge fan of boomer shooters, which is <laughs> classic shooters like. Dick. Yeah, definitely hell. Let's see an axe. Oh, that's the map that I had. <sighs> hell claw word. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that drink noise. Let's just save here, just in case. So, one of the things that you may have noticed about Head and Blood Right is that it has a, a, a female protagonist, which is cool. Not a lot of games have those even still, and even, you know, boomer shooters are very rare. <laughs> nice. Almost like a Duke Nukem style kick. I like it. Axe key, huh? So not like that. Um, the protagonist is a, a particularly buff demon lady as well. I feel like I got more story in a uh, light armor. Anyway. I feel like I might have gotten more story from the, the like, Steam description of this game than I did the, like, game. Like, the story we've gotten so far is just somewhere in hell. Oh, we got infighting. Good. Fighting's great. Bear Warrior says Zan over here. <laughs> Rag something I read. Hmm. These massive doors are jammed shut. Huh? Look out. Okay. Ah, yes, you can crouch. Very, very fast sink. Is this a ladder or something? No, okay. I guess this would be why the game saved in case this happens, right? Can I stand on this? This is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if it's frequently talked about, but the first level of Doom 2 is like really scary. Doom as well. It's why you can sell that game as a demo and it, it works. Oh, I hit a thing. So this is just a, a semi-normal shotgun and flamethrower. Word, okay.
Ah, I see. I jumped in and I didn't need to do that and I shouldn't have. A cream fungus. Bloody axe key. Fragfire can and a fragfire gun. So that's this, I assume. I do really love. I still love sprite-based games. I know that like they're technically inferior, but I don't care. Oh, this just yeah. See, we haven't seen much art of her in the game proper, but her name's Zan, I think. Zan. That's not it. Ah, uh, yes, here. Hmm. Or is it? Um, for those watching me who are new to the channel, uh, bear in mind, I'm hilariously directionally challenged. And for some reason, classic shooters like this really, really screw with my sense of direction. I really couldn't tell you why, either. Oh, hey. Buff crossbow lady. Glad to see you, Sarge. Demon's got us trapped in here. We need help. Horned bastard to seal off every exit. There's no way you can get out. The bars are too thick. I can't break it. Help us figure out something out. All oh, these ambushes. Our squad got separated. Torn apart one by one. We're running out of ammo and time. They'll be all over us. Do something. Is that a smaller woman? Reaver. Hey, Zan. It's good to see you in one piece. We're cornered in here. You have to help us. Demons have blocked all access points to the cathedral, separating us from our squad. Is this a church in hell, by the way? I feel like I've kind of glossed over that fact. Mm. Tried squeezing through the bars, but no dice. Don't have much time. I hear the Cerberi howling. Cerberi. We're sitting ducks in here. Darn it. Mm. Lost so many sisters. Of the main forces having been a fortune. Screw this mess. And she's like, good. Maybe it was this. Hmm. Power source. Or something. Okay, kind of figured that, that was either a grenade or a little barrel you throw down. Wait, did I ignore this? This is new, yeah. Oh man, everyone loves jumping puzzles in first person. Very fun. What is this, by the way? Is this like a memory I'm in? Typically in Doom, uh, when you press the use button next to a wall, Doom guy will make a little mm sound. Like, as if he's working. That's cool. But you can hear that we've got a similar thing going on here. Oh. Oh, you can throw the axe and then pick it up. 
Am I doing something wrong? Is it this? Oh, duh. Okay. Well. That guy got me. Ah, an autosave. Always a thing to trust. That's a power source if I've ever seen one. And if I know Doom, that means enemies are going to attack you. the noises you're making. I mean, I say you, but maybe I should direct this to the developer. The noises she's making are a little like waifu baby, you know? Maybe it's a little sus, you know? Like the swallow is some like, you know? So that, that works for somebody. I'm not saying it works for me. I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm just saying that it works for somebody. Railgun, huh? It works. You can actually. Wait, can I do this? This is probably a bad place to stand, right? I like how it's like weird and vain on the inside. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Nice. Memories of Hexen with this axe as well. Wake up. Wake up. <sighs> Game saved. Oh yeah, the most recent update for this was called the Extra Thick Update. I just remembered that, so perhaps it is like a... Maybe we should just call this game sus. But the art is really solid. Like, I don't just want to be like, oh, it's just a, you know, wanky titty anime mommy game. But like, the art is really solid. Something that will happen sometimes is you'll just convince people to get onto a project easier if it has things they like. Oh, we can sprint by default? Hell yeah. I'm focusing in hardcore to these first person jump puzzles. Keys! Uh. Uh. Oh, the key icon's rather small. Isn't it? Oh. I'll say, oh, whoops. Ah, yes. Hmm. Switches out of power. Remember, it's not necessarily a bad thing to have swaps or swerves of difficulty gameplay and stuff like that, but... <coughs> I'm not sure how I personally feel about... We go far without a map.
Because, yeah, Doom, you know, granddaddy of all of these, of course, had a whole bunch of, like, puzzling and, like, finding keys and stuff. But you did get some, like, good straight up and down combat first. So maybe this... Oh, there we go. One roll of damp notes. Someone probably dropped it without noticing. Captain Dura's Law. Uh, Rot 509, day 238. Is that rotation? Like, the equivalent to a year? I don't like these small quakes. Earth forbid we make a, uh, we wake up with more cavens. The crystals uh, seem to be acting weird, too. The power cores have been running out unusually fast. This place makes me so claustrophobic. Did I did tell the goblins to carve out the ceilings higher, but kept going about the heat going out faster that way. I miss working in that. See, one thing that really hampered Doom 3 was that it insisted on trying to be survival horror. But, like, I don't know if a lot of people would agree that Doom was originally a survival horror. Consumable. Quest items are here. <laughs> I think the tremor from two days ago is related to the giant worms that have been pestering us. Since I already need to head back to Valk and drop by the clinic to have my finger checked on, I might as well inform the Lancer Council about our problems here. Be back in two days. Don't worry. Ah, night vision gogs. Again, the art assets are like really solid. This is a very high quality game to be sure. I'm just not sure about like this immediate swap in a puzzle. Ah, secrets. A spike man. And a healing potion. You always gotta check behind the waterfall. It's literally a law. I don't know what to tell you if you don't check behind the waterfall. We can't be friends. Okay, so that's the power crystal storage. Kind of reminiscent of Half-Life. Little fish. Hold your armor amulet with a power shot. Oh, so I'm just wearing the amulet and it requires more goodies in order to work. And then empty the that. Does it say always run is true whenever you do that? Because that's kind of funny. Rat. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have expected that to happen. That one's obvious. The the surprise was picking it up and it and it did something that wasn't killing it. I don't know the original thing of that. I think it's, I think it's just a, a picture of some guy holding a rat. Hmm. If I had a pick, I could break this wall, huh? Oh, are we also getting, like, thick mommy demon orc Minecraft girlfriend? Oh, shit. 
Yeah, I, I should have suspected that, I think. <laughs> God damn it. Well, luckily for me, now that rat isn't dead. So you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Hmm. Alright, so that's our first death. Vial of healing and dark eyes. Makes sense. Why would you like this game? It hasn't gotten too, like, needlessly creepy and skeezy about, uh, about anything yet, so. Who knows, right? Well, I got the thing, so I can head back and turn it down, right? That's one of the, like, it's almost a double-edged sword about female protagonists, because, like, sometimes... You know, you have a cool, authentic, you know, female representation. And sometimes it's just skeezy as fuck. Yeah, see, that makes more sense. Like the Laura Croft game, the most recent one, the, the reboot. A little skeezy sometimes. There's a lot of stuff that's like... Man, these developers really wanted to kill a woman in every possible way. And, like, you could argue a realism case, but, like, there's also a lot of, like, not a lot, but there's a, there are the occasional snippets into, like, sexual violence. Everyone's nervous while waiting for that dwarf to arrive. We suspended the mining operations, less more quakes, uh, barriers inside the tunnel. Oh, is it like a thing that, like, oh, it's Quake. Quake is attacking us, like Quake the video game. Fourth game by Hit Software. Um, and then there's the crawlers, big enough to swallow a goblin whole. Brr, they are making us such smooth process. The caverns are chock full of crystals, almost as many as there are rumored to be inside the crystal heart. No wonder that the lances have sensed the power here and sent us in. Maybe we'll manage to dig up more of those cyan magnetic formations for the yellow power sharks. Hope the dwarf will be able to sniff out more mithril. Stone key. Spikes, huh? Like, at one point in the RE3 make, uh, Jill, protagonist lady, is in fact impregnated by a monster. Captain Zero, I have news. We managed to capture one of the worms that have been troubling us lately. Send in one of your witches now. Do our best to aid her research. I hope we find a way to deter them before they cave in our tunnels and fit the text and suburban. Kicks are stronger when combined with jumping magic. Given the recent events, the shutter has been set to close after a short period. Don't use it until you can signal someone to let you back in. The waterfall gate is to remain closed until the witch arrives. Can't let the accursed worm escape. Is the perspective kind of weird, or... No, she looks like normal. Wow, look at the sprite work. Like, first and foremost, mirrors in a video game are, like, notoriously hard to have. But she even changes position slightly. No animations for that, though. We do get crouching. 
And the perspective looks kind of weird when she's walking, but you can see that we have a, a, a big titty horned, like blue purple demon, or blue purple, blue muscular demon mama. You only carry one axe without a bag of holding. And the switch is out of power, huh? I'm not rotating these saves because uh, I don't think it'll be that important for right now. I think this just shortcuts back. I love this thing. I'm really having trouble here, guys. Sorry. Dude. I think the door came in and crushed me just as I was leaving. That's weird. Oh, we do actually get an animation of this, though. Oh, and you can crack the mirror. <laughs> This game could have come out in like maybe like 97. Cool. You know, like by the time that we were already having like games that are actually in 3D and like are real and look good, I feel like this game could have actually come out. like the uh, the marathon games are a little after I think I feel like they're a little don't quote me on this I think they're a little past the time of like having good proper um, like sprite animation and they were made at a time when th you could start to have like real 3D I feel like at least the second marathon is after Quake Um, and like this, this definitely would have blown people's minds. A jug of wine, a pint of meat. Oh, this does act. Does it go both ways? I feel like I've definitely forgotten something here. Ah, the mirror regenerates. Cool. I wonder... It would be kind of interesting if you could blow open doors with an axe. Ah. Wow. Oh, is that the worm they described? That makes sense. Totally ran past that a couple of times. Sorry, everybody. Oops. And the stone key. Oh, and those are the quakes they mentioned. And yet, <laughs> is it so that they can populate the area with monsters? Yep. Kind of reminiscent of like a. Uh... This is just because I saw it recently, but it's reminding me of Mortal Shell a little bit. Mortal Shell is a very short game, but after beating a. Oh wow, they're like stocking me up. But after being in a, bo being a boss, the area behind the boss totally remixes. Um, and, you know, they, they quote-unquote double the amount of areas in the game. 
because there's the normal version of every area and then there's the hard version. And this kind of reminds me of that. Of making you like they give you a shortcut, they shortcut you back, and then they take make you take the longest, most circuitous path. But on the flip side, you know, now it has monsters and enemies and stuff, so it's not the same path. Um it is a smart way to make sure that the player is not too knocked off balance. Cause like you get the familiar area, of course. But you have the unfamiliarity of monsters. Uh, which is kind of useful. It means it's a little harder to, like, surprise the player, you know? I hear hissing around. I want to deal with it. Oh, yeah, I have the map. Not have my axe out, pardon me. Maybe that's just me, that kind of feels like a harder read map. That the worms almost grow from these mushrooms, considering that they have the same color scheme and sort of glow. Now, where was there a thing without me? I think it was there. Sorry, I'm just looking at my recording, don't mind me. <laughs> Ooh. Gnarly. Good. I don't see enough of uh, axe throwing in games. Jordan Prospector should arrive by the end of the moon. If he's wearing an elemental ring signet, you may let him in. See corpses. Good sign. It looks like goblin babes. Buff pork lady. Come on, this has got to be a fight, right? Time shard, huh? <laughs> I do really love combat. Especially when the game is so fast. So I played Marathon um, last year actually, it was quite a bit ago. Did I get both of them? Because that's rad. Sorry, I'm just doubling back to grab this axe. I want to keep both of those motherfucking fangs on me. Oh, the rat. Thank you. I will not kill the rat this time. It was a mistake last time. Spike gun and a few spikes. I'm writing this with my dying breath. This woman came out of nowhere and snuffed everyone before we could even draw our weapons. I was the only survivor. She vanished as quickly as she has appeared and left some odd pentagrams. The cultists started gating them. Killed a few, but one of them stabbed me in the leg. Any sister to read this for us to Valk. Demons are behind this. They must be after the crystal heart. So 
So is that me? Am I am I the the problem here? Because that'd be an interesting inversion of it. If like you play as a demon, people have like because the plot of Doom is that people have cracked their way into hell. <laughs> B managed to get past one of the managed to get one of those eye protection amulet from the orcs. So they are orcs. I'll need the crystals to recharge it. No drive for offense, but see if you can nab some glowing shards when they prepare the supply caravan. Drop them a spot we agreed on. Along with the rest of my year. I'll pitch in this nice ruby I've acquired. Make it worthwhile. G. <laughs> Looks like he's like lashed himself. <laughs> Not not a bad gun. Oh, we get iron sights and burst fire. That's cool. See, I played the marathon now about a year ago. A little over. Um, it was a pretty good LP. I get lost a lot now. Uh, but that's just part of my charm now, right? Uh, but one thing that's really interesting about Marathon, if you haven't seen it, is that you can just run and gun and blow through everything and kill and, you know, rip and tear until it is done, etc, etc. <laughs> Pardon me, hiccups. Um... You can get to it. But the thing is, is that you don't have to do that. What you can do is stop and read these things called terminals. Which you may also remember from Halo, because Halo was made by Bungie and so Marathon. It looks like the spikes are shooting out of this thing are what they're throwing at me. <laughs> so you get this very interesting gameplay loop where like, yes, it is possible to just run and gun through the game and play it like you would a normal game of this type. But there is more in Marathon. There's a lot more story. Um, I feel like it's an idea that I would like to see more people emulate. As you know, we need uh, we have been called to join our sisters in the Iron Divisions campaign. We will likely be away for months and someone needs to tend to the camp at this time. I know you're eager to finish further your apprenticeship. We can't take everyone with us. Tend well to our home and make sure to gather some firewood as the cold moon is almost upon us. Mother Druga has left you a task and she needed to help finishing an amulet. I'll leave you my spike gun. You know where to find the extra mags. Don't drink all the wine this time. <coughs> hey. So it looks like killing him without alerting him means that he drops it in, he drops the like, he drops the spike mag. Are they like fighting? <laughs> so far, this is pretty good and ambitious. The spite work is fantastic. The gameplay loop isn't that much more advanced than Doom. It does feel very much like Doom with a more wide and open levels and uh, longer levels as well. Normally in a Doom level, the level will only be so long. And it's, you know, because it's a 93 game and you can only have so much stuff in a level. Like, by now, this is about the amount of time that I would finish, like, three or four levels. And I've done, like, two levels. Okay, so we're back here. So this leads back to here.
Yeah, I've done like two levels and they're like, this is the amount of time I would ex like easily expect to play like two or three. Or like four or five. Hello. Hmm. Empty pedestal. Earlier I did see a well. I wonder if that well drops me down to that hole. If it does, then I don't know if there's any reason for me to double back, but... Hello, Rat. Can I pick you up? Man, this is the kind of thing that would, like, blow people's minds if I showed it them in, like... 98, you know? Like, oh my god, you could fucking pick up the rat. <coughs> it is a shame that the Snarks are not that good of a weapon. Snarks from Half-Life 1. I also played that game with my wife, in fact. Um, but in Half-Life 1, the Snarks uh, are like a little grenade that are actually just an alien bug that you can throw down. And they'll, like, you know, chew at the floor and, and attack guys. And the problem is that they're just not very good. They're cute and kind of fun and all, but they just don't have a lot going on. Okay. Did I go up here? Time. Out. I received one of the crystals from Lancers, called Time Shard. Quaint object, seems to have no bond with darkness or gravity. Where I place it, floats peacefully in time and space. I was instructed to fiddle with it, uh, while not wearing my amulet. Not to fiddle with it while not wearing my amulet, for I'd burst into ash uh, in mere moments if I were to break it by accident. And to find some time to study it further, if only my sisters hadn't decided to begin their campaign, and call us all to arms right now. This one's scribbled with alchemical diagrams. Okay, main room. Vial of healing. Use the door with a fist symbol to end the level. Hello? Video game. Okay. Uh. Oh, interesting. So the well, are diff the wells are different places. Uh. Cold rocks. That was all one level. Wow. I missed a couple of kills. Got twelve percent this. Wow. Ah, but the part time is forty minutes. I don't know if that's accurate. Entering plaza. I'll cut the episode after this. I just wanna. With a head still sore from waking up in a pile of rocks, and still no memory of how she even ended up there, Zan made her way out of the mining post, only to find her blood sister dead from a treacherous force. Whoever these cultists were, they meant business. And if demons were behind this, things were about to become much worse. She rushed through the secret tunnel towards her hometown, gripped tight around that hefty axe, hoping the enemy hadn't breached the defense. The sooner Zan could join the Iron Division warriors in crushing their invaders, the sooner they could make them pay for this insolent aggression. She emerged by Valk's Plaza, yet no sign of ongoing battle can be heard. All right, so next time we'll do that, I guess. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Head and Blood Right. I highly recommend this game. It's really, really solid. It does just play like Doom, but like, who cares? Doom is good. Doom is good, you know? I'm not going to be mad because somebody is is emulating Doom's, like, <laughs> gameplay loop or, or gameplay decisions. It's good. Yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Head and Blood Right. It's available on Steam. I got it on Humble, and I think it's on Itch. Uh, but yeah, it's really good.
Have a good day, everyone, though. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.